Good day, Hill family. I'm gonna do tacos today. I like the 25% less salt sodium one. So here are the ingredients. I have the ground beef in the pot already, and then just gotta um, start putting the ingredients in. So if you just try on, get these ingredients in. Taco seasoning pack. All right, I have a full two pounds of ground beef in here, but I have it in this more Dutch oven thing because there's quite a bit of meat and we're gonna make quite a bit of it, so we can eat off of it for a more for more a couple of days or so, clean enough. So they can use them in soft tacos. I like to use the chip, the tortilla uh, chip, um, four Doritos at the bottom, something like that, do it for kind of like a nacho taco. So, not gonna be your standard taco, more like a, a big taco salad, and of course, the, uh, you have the, um, the soft tacos to make it. So you can use the crunch if you like, I don't always use the crunch, it's for uh, steaming up, so I'm gonna have to uh, end this one and uh, just come back later with the more. So I'm just gonna keep uh, doing the meat until I know it's well cooked. The seasoning is all through there. Have that seasoning cut to the okay. Also use the taco seasoning because it's a lot of meat and I just want to make sure it's got good flavor all throughout. I want it to be fully. Uh, all the seasons got all the different herbs in there. The only thing I'm going to be different from um, taco season attack because this is just the regular garlic. I'm going to put that in there. Regular collard garlic or granular garlic. Uh, I don't use that salt on there. Because in the season has too much food in there. And that's one reason I get the low sodium in there. I do use the roasted garlic, and then uh, when you add the ingredients, it does have a little salt and pepper in it. So, but I like it because it gives like an extra layer of flavor. And I'm gonna let this all get. Mm -hmm. And another thing I'm gonna use is some some paprika. And if you have smoke, you can use that as well. So this is going to be all the seasoning in there for all the day. Um, all that. And because it's quite a bit of meat too, so another one. It's seasoning it heavy. I want it to be seasoned all the way through. Of course, let me break it down and eat it there. It won't be quite as much meat. And I'll probably do like a chicken top on another time. Sure, the meat is broken down. I'm gonna keep working with this and breaking it down, and I'll bring it back. One thing I do do is I add um, water to my taco pack. So, and I put one foot. Water in the taco pack and get all the extra seasoning out because I want it to really simmer in there a little bit. And I'm just going to keep uh, going with this until I get ready to add the other ingredients and I'll, I'll bring it back then. But I want to make sure the meat's broken up really well and that the seasoning gets all through. So I want it to kind of really boil and flush in and make sure it's done all the way through before I cut it off. So, all right, I'm going to stop it here and then I'll come back when I put that in the next time. Good day, Hill family. Going to get ready to cut up all my veggies for the taco 
uh, salad and uh, um, for the taco, for the soft taco shell. So I got everything washed, tomatoes, bell peppers, fresh garlic and scat, um, shallots already chopped up. Got fresh lime, lemon, and got to chop up the fresh, the red onions. Also got my lettuce washed and draining. So that I'm going to show you um, putting in the meat is down, cook, turned it down on low, got it cooked. I wanted to make sure that the seasoning, everything seasoned through. I made sure that I went through all the meat and make sure it was broken up well. Like I said, this is part of the meat, so I'm going to use two of the tostilla, tostitos, the medium uh, salsa con queso. So I'm going to use two of those. And I'm also going to use some Velveeta. So I'm getting ready to put those in. I'm going to get everything in and then I'll turn it up. Uh, also, I can put this in now. I usually use about one can of Rotel for every pound or pound and a half. So I have two pounds in here. So I'm going to put two full, two full cans of Rotel. In. Seems like a lot, but it's quite a bit of meat in there. This is gonna last for seven days or several days or a few days. More than enough is it's good to be cooking for like a large family so everybody can get some. Once you get the everything in there, it's gonna be enough more than enough. That's why I put in a big pot with the cheese and can you know feed a large like family with it. Uh, and everybody gets a chance. You can use the crunchy tacos shells if you want to. They can put the meat in. All the veggies are going to be um, cut up. I'm going to make one bowl with um, pico de gallo stuff in it. And then all this, everything else is going to be on the side. And that way that, you know, they can use it however they can pick the toppings they like. And if they don't like it, then they don't have to eat it. All right. I'm gonna put the cheese sauce in. I'm get ready to turn it back up so this cheese can melt in. I had it on low, so I'm turning it back up to a good medium. I'm gonna make sure this goes all the way through. I got another jar I gotta put in, and then also I'm gonna put the Velveeta in. I put the Velveeta in the last that I wanted to uh, burn the cheese. As you can see, it's mixing up, so it's going to be quite a bit. And I eat mine more like a taco salad than maybe like a regular taco um, than the shells. Sometimes I'll do the shells, but that's not always. Um, And it's got all the flavors in it. So you got more flavors in there from the cheese sauce, from the chestitos, plus all the seasoning flavor already that was put in with the ground beef. Can you open this for me? No. Thomas, can you open this for me? Can you open this for me? I'm on the video. Sorry, I was trying to get that in. I couldn't get the jar out.
see, mixing in the sauce. It won't take long when the ground beef is already cooked now. I just want to make sure that it gets really good going and all the seasoning and cheese sauce and everything coalesce together. Spooning in some of the Velveeta. So as you can see from earlier, I already put in the um, two cans of Rotel. And it's a full, using like a can or can and a half per pound of ground beef. So once the cheese sauce really uh, finished, the Velveeta melts in and good, let it come to a good boil and coalesce all together. And then the sauce base is already to be done. Only thing left is to get all the sides chopped up. And then we're gonna get to see the sides and the finished product. Kids usually love it. Kids love it. All right, your family. Stop here and get the veggies and all cut up so I can let you see it all together. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Good day, Hill family. All right, this is the one with the soft taco. My son likes that, so we already put the put the meat cheese sauce on the bottom, put on the lettuce, put in the pico de gallo that I made, and cheese on the top. All right, and I'm just going to show you the bowl, but I'm also going to, um, all right, here is the pico de gallo bowl with everything chopped up and already put in, but this is the one option for the taco, and then I'll show you the other option in a minute. All right, Hill family, getting ready to put the taco salad together. Uh, as you can see, all the veggies have been chopped up now. Uh, this is cilantro, parsley. Uh, this is green scallions there. Have a few there for garnish. Uh, I like to put uh, toppings on the side. That way people can a la carte the ones they like and the ones they don't like. So we got cucumbers, uh, the red onions chopped up, and also red little tomato. Got cheese for topping there, pickles on the side if someone likes that. And also, like I said, I make a I made a pico de gallo. It's got fresh garlic in it, has the bell pepper in it, and has red onion, of course the tomatoes and lime and lemon juice, and also has fresh kosher salt. Uh, has kosher salt ground kosher salt in it. So it is smelling very good and delicious. Also have the fresh lettuce washed, drained, and chopped up. And normally it has two options. So you can use your base. Of course, here's the finished cheese sauce. Uh, getting ready to put that on. Uh, so you have two options. I like mine either or. Sometimes I do the Doritos at the bottom. Uh, and sometimes I like just the to steal. To steal. So I'm gonna do both of them here, have them in uh, like a smaller plate so it makes it like a nice taco salad. And this one I'll do just with the toastitos in there. There you go. And it's just like your taco salad instead of the crunch. Or you can also use, put your sides on, you can use it to also do for you, uh, for your, um, regular crunch tacos if you prefer that. So put in your cheese. It's good and cheesy sauce with the ground beef. Pour it over, it drizzles down so that'll go all the way down through there. Be very easy to eat. 
or on here for a taco salad on the smaller plate put on your cheese your, your cheese is already in it so you have your base your chips then you have your uh, you have your uh, cheese sauce with your rotel and all of that in it so then there only thing uh, left you can put in your lettuce this is for your taco salad and even in the bowl area you can do it with the bowl so you just put your lettuce on top and then you just layer in whatever toppings you like I'm just gonna put the pico de gallo on top because I really already did the others so see how delicious that looks it has a fresh lemon and lime squeeze on it too so you also have that beautiful uh, taste and topping And this is your taco salad. So you can have it with either chip, whichever one you like. The bowl is more than enough for good salad, taco salad. Or you can do it separately. Like if you want to do, if someone doesn't like like the garlic or they don't like the onion, then you have your side uh, toppings as well. And it leaves enough, more than enough for everyone for you to get more than one serving. Uh, Cucumbers here, Seth. My son don't like cucumbers, so I like cucumbers on his salad. So I can put those on. I like for my salad. If you want more onions, then I also have those. I don't need more. It's more than enough with the pico de gallo for me. As you can see, it looks absolutely delicious. You can spread more cheese sauce on top if you like. I don't have to have more. I'll leave it on the base. But just to show you, uh, I'll just put a little bit on top on this side. So you can put a little more cheese sauce on top on this side, like if you like. And then you pretty much have it. everything. Sprinkle with a little few scallions on top. And they just give you that really uh, nice popping taste. Also, the um, I did the use the fresh garlic inside the pico de gallo, uh, and so that's it. If you top, you can. Some people can eat it just like this. No need dressing. I can eat it that way, or I can. Um, you can put ranch on it or some other kind of dressing if you like dressing or you don't have to have dressing I want you to get a good picture of it see how delicious that is that is a perfect um, taco salad on the bed this one with the Doritos on the bottom of course this one with the Tostillos on the bottom in the bowl and so that's it just absolutely delicious it turned out perfectly try it enjoy it with your family uh, be sure to like comment if you try it, you enjoyed it, you like it, your family like it, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate you supporting the channel. Great to appreciate you watching the videos. Please share with anyone, maybe a new cook or something who's learning. Anyone you know who might uh, benefit or enjoy. And uh, I appreciate you very much. As always, Hill family, uh, the videos are to be teach us things that we can eat that are healthy. Um, if you portion control it, one thing I reason I did put it on the oversized, oversized saucer was it's a way to portion control it as well. And then you can put as much cheese sauce with the ground beef or not. You don't have to have a lot. You can do more veggie than anything. If you don't want much, you can uh, you just use choose cheese sauce separately if you want to do that. So it, it's a way for it to still uh, be healthy to you. Just also education and know you can... Um, use different things and separate them out to your taste it doesn't have to be stuck one kind of way and then the other option I wanted to make sure and then I'm just going to put a little bit of the Italian cheese on top see how delicious that is and um, it doesn't have to be one separate way so that's the education of it 
course, we always know we want to improve our life so we can have an abundant life, a positive attitude, and also just want to live life. Nothing like other than, um, I would say, seafood probably. Um, I enjoy this probably. Tacos probably the next. <laughs> Now, it's not regular standard tacos the way this is, but uh, it's another way to ima reimagine it as well. Thank you, Hill family. Greatly appreciate you. I want you to be blessed. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from another. Thank you for watching Hill with Nona Black TV.